Latest reports indicate that the DRDO missile scientist who was arrested last week might have provided basic information about the BrahMos and Agni missile to a Pakistani agent in September last year. Authorities are extracting WhatsApp chats and other technical details to conduct a further investigation, but the shared images and data might have little value to Pakistan, as it is unlikely to reveal the exact nature of their performance or how they can be intercepted. India's Cabinet Committee on Security officially approved the Tejas Mark II project on 1 September 2022, and a funding of $809 million was expected to be sanctioned. However, IHS Jains has reported that the Indian government had included a clause in the funding approval, which states that the money would be released only after the US government agrees for 100% transfer of F-414 engine technology to India. HAL plans to roll out the first Tejas Mark II prototype by September 2025, and the first flight is scheduled for 2026, and the flight testing and weapon testing will be concluded by the end of 2027, so that production could begin in 2028. But the Indian Air Force is aware of unrealistic production timeline, as two years is too short of a duration to obtain flight certification and complete both flight testing and weapon testing. So the Air Force is considering the purchase of 50 more Tejas Mark 1A aircraft. While the Indian Army has prioritized the creation of a light tank for high-altitude regions, the vulnerability of Russian main battle tanks in Ukraine has captured the attention of Indian Army, and the Army wants to pursue the future ready combat vehicle program on priority. The FRCV will integrate advancements in asymmetric technologies, artificial intelligence and see-through armor, and will have long detection and identification ranges with thermal night vision and lock-on target capabilities, as well as smoke dischargers with anti-thermal and anti-laser capabilities. The Army is also seeking an automated loading system that requires minimal intervention and engagement time, as well as soft kill systems and other countermeasures including laser warning systems and RF sensors. The Indian Navy has expressed interest in equipping its six Calvary-class submarines with lithium battery packs, for which it is looking to collaborate with local industrial partners and the French firm Naval Group. The use of lithium battery packs will offer an increased endurance and efficiency, reduced maintenance costs and improved safety. The Naval Group is already working with the DRDO to integrate a fuel cell-based air-independent propulsion system into the first Calvary submarine in 2025. Hyderabad-based Green Robotics has announced that it has completed the acquisition of C4i SRT platform from Apogee C4i. Green Robotics had introduced its Indrajal comprehensive drone defense system in 2021, which has the capability to protect up to 4,000 square kilometers from low RCS threats mail and hail UAVs as well as loitering ammunition, and the acquisition of Deep Tech IP will further enhance Indrajal's capabilities. After a series of crashes, the Center for Military Airworthiness and Certification has called for a comprehensive design review of a safety-critical system on the Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter, considering that it is widely used by the Indian military and paramilitary forces for a range of operations. Despite claims from Hindustan Aeronautics that the helicopter has a stable and mature design, a complete audit of the helicopter's systems might reveal weaknesses in the aircraft design. Oh, my God.